to another edition of the Fuji Guys. My name is Billy. I'm actually in Tokyo Midtown at Fuji Films head office, and I have my good friend Cheng from uh, Singapore. He's actually the Singapore Fuji Guy. Hi, How are you Billy. Doing? Good, thanks. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm Cheng from Singapore, so I'm very happy to join you in this episode. Today, actually, we're going to talk about a brand new product, the Fujifilm X100T. It comes in both the black as well as the black and silver that you have there. Yeah, that's right. The X100T offers a new advanced hybrid viewfinder that gives you the best of both worlds. It gives you the optical viewfinder, electronic viewfinder, and an optical viewfinder that has a built-in electronic viewfinder on the bottom right-hand corner. And this is a really neat feature. The way it works is that there's a neutral density filter that slides up in place at the bottom right-hand corner, and then an electronic view is actually projected onto that, which is really, really cool. Yep. And actually, it's very easy to operate. You put the lever to the right, and you push the lever to the left. They can change the mode very easily. So if you push it to the right, it, ju it jumps from the optical viewfinder to the electronic viewfinder, correct? That's right, yeah. And then if you're in the optical viewfinder and you push it to the left, it also en en engages the ND filter and projects an electronic view at the so, bottom right-hand corner. And you will have a picture-in-picture picture functions, right? In and that's really cool because the electronic viewfinder gives you 100% confirmation of the framing. It also allows you to focus. So even in manual focus modes, right, you can actually use the electronic portion to confirm focusing. That's right, yeah. It's a very user-friendly new feature. What about the uh, focus ring itself? I noticed it actually has a new design. Yeah, now we have a new function, so we call the seamless parallax corrections. So when you're doing the manual focusing, you have a like uh, automatic corrections while you are turning the lens barrel that gives you a more accurate framing. That's really cool. I really like yeah. that feature. The EVF also has a great refresh rate, just like the X-T1. So virtually it's legless and making this camera the great camera for different types of customers, whether you like electronic viewfinders or optical viewfinders or both. It's all built into the X100T. The aperture ring on the X100T has also been updated to offer one-third stops of adjustment. No longer do you have to go on the command dial on the back of the camera to flip it left and right to adjust that, which is something uh, that a lot of people are going to appreciate. In addition to that, of course, the command dial has also been updated to be easier to use. You still have a shutter speed dial as well as an exposure compensation dial up to three stops. Yeah. So they give you a more precise control of the camera. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. What so, else is new? Yeah, what's more now you have a seven customizable functions. By long pressing the display functions, it goes to the menu. And now you can assign like a... Any of the dials, any functions you yeah, want. Yeah, any so, function you want to into the different buttons. I really like that fact that you can do that. Uh, the fact that you can also change the directional pad to quickly allow you to adjust the autofocus point. So That's no right. longer do you have to push the AF button in order to access that. If you wanted to do that, this camera is really fully customizable, including the Q menu. Yeah, also in the Q menu, now you can choose and decide what, Q. what it looks like in the Q menu. So, so you, you go in there. All the button, yeah, you're going there, and you can see all the buttons, all the blocks can, can be assigned with the different so when going features. in there, you push the menu OK button and you can select from the different options available in that list. Yeah, that's really right. making it a, a really customizable camera. So, you know, every individual out there has different options. You know, I might like to change the sharpness. You might like to get access to the video mode. That can be all done through the Q menu, through that customization. And with the seven different options for function, it really makes it a camera for everybody. The camera offers a list of new features, including a brand new LCD screen. That's right. It's a bigger, sharper, clear. And it's 3-inch. Yeah, it's a 3-inch. Compared to the, uh, to the past. And it's very useful to check the focus and image qualities. Now, the camera also offers a new film simulation mode, right? That's right. Called Classic Chrome. Classic Chrome gives you a softer look uh, to the image and also a little bit more contrast, uh, similar to some of the old uh, classic uh, chrome films uh, in the past. Yeah, this is one of the best color for the documentary photography. We know that the mechanical leaf shutter on the X100 is super silent. But there's also another new feature to this camera. Yeah, so that gives you like a 1 over 32,000 seconds shutter speed, and it's a dead silence. So it's electronic shutter versus a mechanical shutter, right? That's right. And how do you change that? In the manuals, actually, you can choose from the mechanical shutter, electronic shutter, and mechanical plus electronic shutter. So it's kind of like a hybrid feature that gives you the best of both worlds. It uses the shutter speed, mechanical shutter speeds up to 1 4,000th of a second, and then it switches it automatically to electronic shutter when it needs faster shutter speeds above that, uh, that point, which is really, really That's cool. That's very smart, yeah. That's going to make this camera incredible, being dead silent, being 
you know, very fast when it comes to shooting and also offering the ability to shoot at wide open apertures on bright sunny days. In addition to that, it still has that three-stop built-in ND filter. So it really makes this camera a perfect camera to take in any lighting situation, in any location, whether it's in a museum, a library, or out on the street. Your best companions. The video mode on the X100T has also been improved. So now you can offer up to 1080p at 60 frames a second, but also change the frame rates from 60, 50, 30, 25, as well as 24 frames a second to give you a, a very cinematic like look to the video. Yeah, what's cool is that you can manually adjust in the aperture, shutter, and ISO level as well. So now you can basically lock the exposure so it doesn't automatically adjust, which is very useful for when video filming. You also have a mic input that you can use with an external mic that has controls through that, and all that can be done through the menus here. Again, you can select the ISO, yeah. you can select the, the shutter speeds, and of course the aperture is yeah. on front of the, of the camera All the settings itself. with your fingertips. Uh, so the video mode is, is, is really improved. I really like the way that Fuji is listening and taking feedback and incorporating that into a, a camera like the X100T. Yeah, that's a better uh, camera right now. Also, the, the, the camera offers some really other cool features as well when it comes to things like Wi-Fi capabilities, right? right? It inherits the same capabilities as the X-T1. Yeah, and actually it's very easy. By pressing the Wi-Fi buttons, they create wireless connectivities, and you can also download the apps from the Fuji Film app and that gives you the control and access to the shutter speed, aperture and ISO level. You can even press the shutter buttons in the apps to control the camera. And of course, you also got a live view, which means you can see exactly what you're framing. And there's also touch focusing through the uh, app on the uh, phone itself. Yeah. It's a great feature for the X100T and I think really a good addition to, uh, to this camera and really very, very useful. So there you have it, the Fujifilm X100T, available both in the black as well as the black and silver. Loads of new updated features with this camera. Of course, it can also use a wide conversion as well as a teleconversion lens, making it real, a, a true system camera. Uh, so it is compatible. For more information on this product, of course, you can uh, visit our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel, as well as follow me on Twitter at FujiGuys. Until then, I'm Billy. I'm Chang. Nice. And we're the FujiGuys. Thank you.